Hi. So, I've never made a vlog before, so please uh, excuse how rough this will be. But I wanted to make a little video explaining the test I'm getting done for anybody else who might need it. My name is Jackie. I'll give you a little background on me. Um, I'm 28. Um, I've had a GERD gastroesophageal reflux disorder for 10 years, um, and which means I have crazy heartburn, and I have taken tons of medication for it. Um, I currently take 60 milligrams of lansoprazole a day, which is Prevacid. That's four times the over-the-counter dose. I've tried all of the over-the-counter meds at similar dosages, and they don't really work. I also currently take Caraphate, um, which interesting is one gram, and that is a, a prescription medication for heartburn that coats the inside of your stomach, and I haven't found that helps at all. Um, I've had a couple endoscopies done. Um, that's when they look down your throat with a camera to see how your stomach and your esophagus look, and those are all normal. Also, my throat stretched because I had trouble swallowing, and that didn't do anything. So, here I am. I'm taking tons of medication for heartburn, and I still have it every day. And I also have tons of trouble swallowing, although I always have, so I'm not 100% sure it's heartburn. So, my doctor said he wants to do pH manometry. pH manometry is when they stick a tube, see, this tube, down your throat and um, to test a couple different things. Um, the way he ex now, I'll explain a little bit to you about heartburn. This is the way my doctor explained to me. I'm not a doctor, so if you have, if you are a doctor, please correct me. What he said is there are three different kinds of heartburn. There's, um, and heartburn just describes the feeling of burning in your esophagus. There's regular normal heartburn, which is when you reflux up acid from your stomach. And most people reflux, and most people even reflux a little bit of acid. That's normal. It's when it's excessive, it's a problem. There's non-acid reflux heartburn, and that's when the heartburn is coming from just the other stuff that's reflexing up, because you're always going to reflex up like bile and food, um, but that can irritate you. Most people it doesn't, but some it does. That's what that heartburn is. There's also functional heartburn, and that's when you're getting faulty nerve signals. Um, so, um, I had two pH manometry tests done. I'm having two done. Um, and they're done for a couple different reasons. They're done, A, to check the pressure inside your stomach and esophagus to see how well your lower esophageal sphincter is doing. That's the, um, that's the little, like, the trap door on top of your stomach. It's triggered by you swallowing. It's what allows food to get on your stomach and, um, down your esophagus. And if it doesn't work all that well, it can allow reflex, reflex, reflex up into your, your, your esophagus. Um, they're also testing, right now, they're testing, um, the, what's coming out of my stomach, basically. Uh, they're testing, you know, is the stuff coming out of my stomach? Does it still have heart acid in it? Because with how many meds I'm on, shouldn't still have acid in it. They're testing, is reflux actually happening? Like, am I actually feeling reflux when I have heartburn, or is it all in my head? Um, so I'm going to describe the testing process to you. So there's two pH manometer tests. The first one is pressure, pressure test. Um, so I had to show up at the hospital at 1230. It's an outpatient procedure. Um, they got me in. They um, hadn't. They squirted um, numbing medication up my nose. Um, and you're supposed to, you know, suck it up, or you know, in your nose, and a little bit will get in your throat, which will numb your throat. Um, you don't want too much. I got a little bit too much, so it was really hard swallowing, which feels really, really weird. Um, so, um, and that's to sort of guide, you know, so it's not painful getting the, the sensor to your nose, because the first sensor is a little bigger than this one. This one you can see, this is how, what, what's down my throat right now. The other sensor is thicker. Um, then after the, um, after that has a turn to set, the numbing cream, they guide a, the sensor up your nose, and then you swallow water while they get to, to help guide it down your throat until it's in your stomach. I had some trouble with this stage. Um, for one, they couldn't get it up my nose. I guess my sinuses are problematic. Um, it took forever to do that. It did, it was a little painful. Um, then actually swallowing the sensor is uncomfortable. I gagged a bunch. It was 
it's not pretty. Although once it's down, like once it's fully down, it doesn't feel as bad. So they um, they send it down your throat and into your stomach, um, and then they pull it up back up a little bit because there's sensor beads on it. Then you lay down, and they have you sip water and sip another uh, thicker solution than water, and it was saline water to um, to uh, to measure how your swallowing affects your lower esophageal sphincter. And the way what they do is you have to sit, you can't swallow for like 10 seconds. They have you swallow water once, one swallow, pause, no swallowing for another 10 seconds, then another 10 seconds. Then you, like, so you have to, I guess the thing is, they have to let your muscles reset in between swallows, and they only want to see one swallow and the effect that has. So if you swallow an extra time, you have to wait again and or do it over. Uh, so that's, that's all kind of uncomfortable. Um, you know, you have a thing down your throat, and you can't swallow that much, and it was hurting my throat and my nose a little bit. Um, and they had me do ten swallows of water and ten swallows of the other solution, and I'm, I'm sorry, I forget what that's called. Um, when the set's done, you blow out, and they pull pull the sensor out, and actually pulling it out um, was really quick, I was surprised. Um, and then after that, they do the second test, which is what I have in right now. Um, and this is a lot thinner, it's a wire, um, and they stick it up your nose the same way. It was way easier getting it down this time, I didn't gag or anything. Um, and this they leave in for 24 hours, and that's because they want to know what's coming out of your stomach for a long time. And they give you a little sensor thing, which I'll show you. So, this is my sensor uh, recorder, it's attached to the thing coming out of my nose, sorry it's upside down. And it's got a couple things on it. You press here to you have to tell it when you're eating. When you stop eating, you have to tell it when you're laying down or standing up. You have to tell it when you're having symptoms. So if I'm having heartburn, I press the one. Um, unfortunately, I've been having some issues with it. I guess my sensor, um, it's not the connection isn't quite tight enough. So it keeps resetting itself. I hope it's getting information, or you think you might be getting a second video. Um, the good thing my nurse practitioner told me is that I actually do have a strong lower esophageal sphincter. So the whole swallowing and the sphincter opening, that's all working fine. Um, I thought maybe my nurse didn't work. So I guess we will see what this test says. Um, so that's all. I uh, hope that's helpful to some of you out there. Feel free to leave comments if you have questions, or if you want to correct me on something, please go ahead. I'm not a doctor. I've said heartburn for a real long time, so thanks.